up, Pisces? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with. Ooh, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. Yikes. What's that about? That's a sneaky energy. Alright, let's just see. Maybe a future for Pisces. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If this does resonate, you may have somebody in in your energy if it's, or a situation. It's like two sides of the equation. Alright, you got the Empress. And the Seven of Pentacles. One more for Pisces. It's a nice energy. The Knight of Swords. Oh, well, your money is looking good. Slowly but surely. I see the Nine of Pentacles there. Tell me about this Empress. The Empress is Taurus, Libra energy. Boy. But that's your energy in this reading. Wow. You may. There's something that it's. It could just be as simple as, um, like, something that you're trying to save up for. But there's a lot of success here around something that you're doing. Um, you could be seen in the public eye, but it also could be someone trying to hold on to you. Show me the Four of Pentacles. You also may just be keeping this to yourself. This could be like a raise, a promotion. Oh, hell. All right. The devil at the bottom, the hangman, which can be your energy, but there may be a situation where somebody's done fell back, um, and this cycle could be on repeat, and they could kind of fall back to drinking there, or it doesn't even have to be. <sighs> Show me that seven of swords. So this can go a couple of ways, right? The first way I'm going to tell you is um, watch your money. Just because the Seven of Swords, if we're just being really general, can be a liar, cheater, thief. And this can be um, kind of withholding, uh, especially money. So, um, but for, I'm looking more at the love side of things. For some, this could just be a plan that you developed career-wise around your success. What is the Seven of Swords for a love situation? Thank you. The Emperor, Aries, Energy, the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> so, so someone's trying to like protect what they feel like is theirs at this point. But there may have been some things in the past, not for all, um, that, you know, you may need to, if it's like a certain, yeah, if somebody was kind of juggling or had options had choices the king of wands is there so this could have been a married man for some or somebody who walked away before um for others if it's more so around career for you you could kind of be saving up for something um and kind of in the uh there could be a raise promotion something like that or something that's in like the startup stages show me the seven of pentacles for pisces the hangman that's your energy and there's that devil energy again there's some jealousy around somebody something that you're doing um king of wands and the three of cups somebody who's got uh an energy who i would say has like a great deal of pride ego swag about them um but it feels like why the devil there's also jealousy like there's something good that's happening around you so, um, you know, even if it's around just a friendship or the emperor can, you know, just don't let anyone, um, try to stomp on your shine, the magician, because you definitely have something here. It looks like it's kind of just been hanging in your energy, but the devil and the magician, show me the magician. What are they manifesting? Plus with the seven of swords over here, you've got somebody who's kind of a, um, 
<laughs> creative energy for sure. Um, it may be like a little sneaky, a little sly in the way they move some of the times. But my guess is you've been through this once before. Oh, show me the magician. What are they trying to manifest with Pisces? The Six of Swords. Hmm. Could be a couple of things. It could be to travel. It could be to move. It could be to just, you know, try to leave difficult times behind. Um, and push past that. Show me this Knight of Swords for Pisces for the outcome, please. The Ten of Wands. Ah, the moon, that's your energy. Could also be dealing with a cancer. For some, there's a situation here where, um, I mean, it kind of feels like this person comes, like, rushing in, like, head first. And I don't think that you see it right now. But we also do have some cards here of, um, that could represent a couple of things and not all these are going to be for all situations but there could be like codependency here especially to like um, drugs and alcohol for some uh i would just watch the intent show me the moon for pisces what's hidden here because sometimes the moon can also reveal secrets show me the moon so we can see how this is the Queen of Wands. Alright. So again, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. But you also have one particular energy here that is like definitely wanting to hang on to you. It could be like even a sexual obsession with you. Something like that. Um, so temptation. But with the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands, like you're doing your damn thing. So somebody here is going to try to hang on to you. Tell me about that Queen of Wands for Pisces, please. The judgment. You may have that decision to make here. <clears throat> the Ace of Wands. Yeah. See, so there is something that's kind of... Well, I mean, shit, it's going to be tempting. Um, but with this Ace of Wands, the Devil, all this combination of cards that we we have here... Um, don't let it just lead you back to a same situation that you've been in before. Because if this is a person, this is, um, I'm not saying there's no feelings or anything, but this is coming in on like a fling type level or like a situation that kind of just leads back to a crossroads. Um, uh, for some and then we're right back to that two of wands, that choice. So it's like a loop that would keep wrapping around. I mean, if that's what you want, then, um, you know, by all means, no judgment. But I'm just saying for some, this could be a loop that you keep getting caught in. Because when this devil shows up, um, <clears throat> especially wanting you like this person does, it is, it is coming in a sweet package. It doesn't come like warning labels. So I'm just letting you know. All right, Pisces, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.